It's time for fun, learning, commentary, laughs, and more care of the most diverse group in the genealogy and family history world. Welcome to Black Pro Gen Live with your hosts, Nika and True, and the baddest panel in these pedigree streets, Angela, James, Linda, Alex, Ellen, Tony, Shelly, Teresa, Bernice, Felicia, Willie, Renata, and Tasia. It's Black Pro Gen Live, genealogy, family history research with flavor. With 200 breakout sessions, more than 150 exhibitors, 300 classes, and 20,000 plus folks in attendance, Roots Tech is one of the largest genealogy related events around. It's almost impossible not to know about it in the family history space. But what's the haps on this event at the ground level? What's it really like to attend such a large scale event? And is it really worthwhile for genealogy researchers who focus on people of color? Black Pro Gen Live was there and has the answers to those questions and more. Coming to Roots Tech as an African American is interesting. Unlike any other large venue, you look for people who look like you, quite frankly. And pleasantly, you find them here. <laughs> I'm noticing a few things where I am seeing a, a little bit of myself as soon as you come in there, you'll see the World War I um, veterans. Roots Tech is fun. It's just busy and you just have to stick to your schedule, but just leave room for error where you can just play it by ear and have a good time. In addition to being conference attendees, Black Pro Gen Live panelists taught six sessions at the conference. Tony presented on archival research, while Shelley presented on one of her mainstays, timelines, of course. Bernice took the conference by storm with her presentation on the emotional side of DNA testing and was even interviewed by the Salt Lake Tribune for a story. That's me, making the attendees do deoxyribonucleic twister while talking about triangulation during my DNA session. Angela helped folks get all of their life with her essential records for Native American genealogy talk. And some of our genia buds like Shannon Christmas, Janice Minor Forte, Michael Henderson, Madam Ancestry, and Luminary Tony Burroughs did an amazing job as well. Okay, hello everyone. I'm speaking here with Randy Stebbing at Jenny. Hi, how are you? Doing great, how are you? Great. great. To you. Well, it's a pleasure. You have been explaining some of the wonderful databases on Jenny, and there's quite a bit on African American research that I'm really surprised. You have information on the Freedmen's Bureau, Hampton University, the Dawes Rolls, Fisk, James Joyner Smith Plantation. This is great. Tell us a little bit of how Jenny works then. You talked about projects. Yeah. 
So one of the cool things about uh, GD is to be able to collaborate on projects together. So you, uh, a lot of county history uh, societies are doing their own individual projects. Really? So you as an individual can start a project on something that you're interested in uh -huh. and then advertise that on the site. And when I say advertise, I mean publicize it. And other people Correct. can join your project and contribute. Victoria Robinson, would you play Jen Walking with us? Heck yes. All right. Here's our question for you. How many onentopples would you say is an onentopple too many? Easy answer, zero. And why? Because the journey to search for our ancestors never ends. You never have too many ancestors. Here we are. Ancestry has this really cool experience right now where you can come and tell a story. Hey, look at this is with the background. Isn't this cool? I love the background. This is great. These little pod booths are great. Um, the other thing that's really cool is you can come and get headshots done. Look, look at this great light that they have. We're gonna come over so you can see how, how nice and saucy this light is. Oh, look at these selfies! Look at this! Yes, video light is popping. WordPress, you like WordPress, right? Forever is great, they have storage plans. This is different than Dropbox because it provides you with lifetime storage for your images and they're moving into video as well. Yes, 10 gigabytes is $179. You pay that, your, your memories are saved. Willie Russell is here with us. How's your experience been at Roost Tech? It's going good so far. I've really enjoyed myself. And I'm just trying to not break the bank. He's trying not to spend too much money. He is a college student. You know, this is our opportunity to share with people what we what we have to offer and then how they can learn from us. We're here as members of Black Pro Gen, as independent historians, writers, genealogists, bloggers, um, but we're also doing some other things too. And you know, we're here representing Maggie, the Institute, we're representing Black Pro Gen, a community of researchers from Fort Knox to New York City to Edgefield, South Carolina to now Louisiana, yeah. so we're all over the place. So this is where I think we need to be really promoting who we are and having the younger generation right out up front yeah. and being the activists Absolutely. and the communicator. So that's what I'm trying to do also is trying to get more young folks involved as well. We realize that in this day and age with modern te technology, we don't need anyone to give us permission. We followed William Grimes' example and we did this on our own through crowdfunding and the community that said, yes, we want to hear this story. There needs to be a voice. More people need to speak out, more people need to take action in uncovering those hidden gems and those hidden treasures of African American history that have been, I don't want to say suppressed, but just ignored. My advice to the beginning and intermediate genealogists is no matter how much success you've had, you still need to go back and read the, the fundamental books to make sure you haven't missed anything. I think the other side of that is our experienced genealogists need to take an extra step in reaching out to those newbies, the people that started through the internet, started through digital, don't understand the real fundamentals, don't understand offline research, and help bring them along to take them to the next level. Uh, I give a talk about merging digital research with offline research. So you should always merge the two. In genealogy, we have a saying that we leave no stone unturned. So you have to look at all resources, whether they're digital, online, offline, or whatever. So uh, for those people that are beginning or intermediate, you've done research for, for several years, you need to broaden your horizon and talk to experienced people and look at other resources. You know, we have this network that we can hopefully break down certain barriers and make them more interconnected, yes. which is what I'm hoping that we can do. The idea of where we can go on from here is a complex one. There are um, a lot of people trying to do innovation, however the innovation seems to be repetitive. 
and also when it comes to the DNA companies that are coming online, they're just redoing the same thing over and over again. They're, and I believe from my experience, because um, I do this all day long pretty much every day, every company seems to have preconceived notions and they're trying to fit everybody into that bucket. But when you look at African Americans in, in particular, our genetic diversity is immense, far more than I think the scientists initially anticipated. And they're trying to, I believe, fit African American DNA into a bucket because it goes against what their preconceived notions are and they have to rethink what they've already thought. And I think that causes a problem. And as a result, it's a trickle down effect. You know, whatever the scientists are able to do innovatively is going to trickle down into the vendors into the DNA companies and things of that nature. And if the scientists don't speak up and say, hey, we got to rethink this or look at this this way, then we're going to continue to be stagnated. It is a place to learn, to connect, to expand your genealogy knowledge, <laughs> and to absolutely connect with genealogy buds because that's what it's all about. The general sessions are fantastic, the breakout sessions are phenomenal, and the exhibit hall is unbelievable. So if you have never attended Roots Tech, I would highly suggest you come at least once. And if you've ever been, come back because there's always something new and something exciting. So that's Roots Tech.